You look so serious. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just sums up the day we're having, doesn't it? <laughs> I think I'm getting a headache. <laughs> I already have a headache. Great game, mate, stop. Okay. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Hello everybody. We're really tired. <laughs> it's you've been got, a week. You've got pen on your cheek. <laughs> I have paint all over my hands. I have pen oh on my, my cheek. Days. I had pain like on my chest <laughs> as I was leaving co college. I didn't notice. Walked all the way to my car and then looked down and was like, I was a bit awkward. I made bread um, like 20 minutes ago. And I was taking this reference photo, which was very delayed. And I took literally like 15 photos and realised I had like <laughs> crumbs on my face. So I had to take like another 15 reference photos. So, yes, hello. Welcome to episode four. Episode four. How are you guys? Great. <laughs> <laughs> Much better than us. <laughs> Do you want to um, give a little week summary? Um... Or are you so over it you just don't <laughs> want to talk about it? Well, I've I've been just prepping for my final major project for college. Mm. And uh, effectively, at the beginning of the week, we had a meeting of the whole of my year group, which was just like a scare tactic to be uh. like, this is how much work you have to get done. Oh, and by the way, you won't have a studio when you get back from half term. They're, uh, they're making us clean out our studios for the low years. That's not very helpful, is it? No, that's no, not very helpful. So, <laughs> so um, I've just been on, like, uh, overdrive. Yeah, it's um, fun. But, yeah. So, I didn't have time to draw this out before. I was going to trace it, but the paper's too thick. Yeah. Oh, you could... Um, do you have charcoal? You could yeah, I do, do actually. charcoal rubbing. Okay, um, well... <laughs> you just... I'll, I'll just, uh, just shall I preface what we're doing today That's by talking about idea. what we're going to do this weekend? <laughs> so uh, you start with me, guys. Um, basically, I am. We're filming at honours today because we are going early in the morning to Cardiff to see our lovely, lovely friend Holly. Hi, Holly, if you're watching. Um, and so we are filming late in the evening. Um, before we go, normally we would film during the weekend, but that's not going to happen. But Cardiff, very exciting. And um, the, the reason why that is key is because this week we're going to be talking about our process of documenting travel. So art journaling, filming, photography, all that jazz. Um, and pros and cons and how good it actually turns out um and we're hoping i think to do some form of documentation while we're in cardiff i think i'm just gonna actually start as well i'll explain what i'm doing while honors run off to get charcoal um so i'm gonna do a watercolor from a photo that we have we we took in sheffield so shout out to joe and rob um, so they are looking adorable in this little landscape and uh, I'm gonna just do a watercolour now. In episode one I mentioned how much I hate watercolour so this should be really interesting. Cool you're back. Okay basically back back. I explained that we're going to Cardiff to see Holly ah, and that I know, I'm so excited. we are um, hoping to document that trip and guess what? We're talking about documenting travel. Is that a segue? It's a segue. <laughs> and then I also explained what my art is. Um, would you like to explain what you're doing today for the, the audio listeners? Of course. Um, right, so... <laughs> I was going to do a pointillism portrait, which for those of you who don't know, is basically like an entire piece of art but instead of lines and shading and stuff, it's literally just dots. And then, I, and then it got to like half an hour ago and I was like, I mean, these are well known for taking ridiculous yeah. amounts of time. And I was like, what am I doing? 
So I can bring yourself to do it. Can bring myself to do it. So basically, instead, I'm. Uh, I don't. I don't want every week to. Um, I was saying this to Leash earlier, like for it to just. Um, for me to just do art that I know I can do and that's like easy. Like I want to sort of like push myself and to like not. I don't feel like the need to create a necessary like stereotypically good, good piece of art yeah. each week um i th- i think it's unachievable to do a good piece of art Ooh. all the time yeah well i mean even professional artists will hate some of their art yeah work. no exactly so it's like it's your perception of what's good and, and what's not we but, went um, there yeah. yeah we went there Why? um so i am experimenting with color and instead of doing uh, sort of like light and dark in how light and dark the colour is, I'm doing like the colours. So I'm going to do blue for dark areas, like in tones and stuff. And then, I don't really know, what's the other one? <laughs> uh, you can do, well, if you're doing highlights are normally yellows. Yeah, there you go then. Yeah, cool. Um, so you're doing a self-portrait for this yes. as well, yeah. And also, um, such lovely photo. taking the mm, taking <laughs> the the reference photo, which I uh, am tracing, um, because I'm focusing on the color, and quite frankly, didn't have enough time to <laughs> draw out. I ver- I realized my face is far less symmetrical than I thought it was. I was like, hmm, that's love that interesting. Yeah. Um, How's yeah, the, is the tracing working? It is. I can't. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's going fine. We'll get there. We'll get um, there. Well, yeah, I'm. I'm gonna see how this watercolor goes. But as Anna likes to say, pen fixes everything. It literally does. Um, but yeah. So so shall we get started on what we were actually going to talk about today? Yes. Um, oh, I'm very excited. I've got a new. I need to make sure this is actually in the shot. Yeah. I've got a new journal type oh, yeah. notebook bring the journal in shot for okay the youtube viewers look at look at that plan my writing is uh, my handwriting it's, so it's legible. a very pretty yellow and black journal yeah um so on the front there's a nice wash of yellow on the front cover and then black dots on top very artistic and um and i've got episode four planning lovely um Yes, so that's exciting. Some people would have thought we're actually organised. Yeah, <laughs> they would be wrong. Um, but I have, as always, my notes on my phone. <laughs> that's fine. Yeah. So, basically, like I said, we've been thinking about art, journaling, and how we document, in general, um, travelling and when we go on holiday. Yes. And I, th- I think it's good to say that this doesn't have to be, like, going abroad yeah Um, when we say like on holiday like i'm gonna be doing this for going up to cardiff for the weekend yeah and like i anyway yeah yeah it's not necessarily yeah not necessarily abroad Um, and we've done it for like day trips out as well yeah i do Um, a lot for day trips and stuff but yeah so what sort of ways what are your preferred ways to document travel on air um should we say why would, yeah would be good so i think so the reasons i do document travel is like it's quite nice to obviously remember that place um because often you can be like so overwhelmed by all the things in a new place it's like obviously Definitely. really nice to remember it um and remember everything and also i think it often say uh you do some art of a place it often actually like helps you appreciate it more because you can like look into extra details and stuff yeah you're like properly observing yeah what's so i have an an art journal um so it's like just a little hardback notebook um that i will take pretty much everywhere with me and then i'll do little like sketches and drawings and that kind of thing um yeah. yeah i i 
have I tend to have small pocket notebooks. Um, oh yeah, you got really teeny when you tiny. Ones. So they're half of an A five, A six. Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, I just tend to draw like little sketches and notes and like sometimes poetry and um, just. They're really easy because I can just throw it in any bag or I can even fit yeah. it in like, the back pocket of my jeans if I need to. Yeah. Um, and so that is really useful and I take that like, I take that everywhere really if yeah. I can. Um, and, and then if like over the summer, if I know we're doing like a lot of stuff, I might, uh, last summer I got a um, sketchbook which was half for um art foundation they asked us to keep a sketchbook over the summer but also it turned into like a really nice memento yeah of that summer because we were doing like loads of stuff yeah so yours is probably more artistic and yeah um, art based and mine is like so i'll collect like tickets and then pr- print out and stick in photos after um i'm home from place yeah, um, I I kind of did some more like yeah, taking photos and sticking those in uh last summer. But um normally if I'm going for like a day trip up to London or um I went to France not that long ago just with like um my parents, then I would just take like my little my tiny notebook. Yeah. Um and you know, just a couple of pens and some pencils, that sort of thing. Yeah. Um but yeah, I think you also like to do um, film. Yeah, so the other way I document travel is making, like, little travel videos and stuff. Just because, like, I really like trying to completely, like, capture a place in, um, what, like, yeah, one kind of form. And, like, remembering. So when I look back at a video I've made... I can, like, completely sort of remember it in a way. Yeah. Um, I really enjoy doing that. I mean, it's pretty impressive to, like, capture the whole essence of a trip in, like, yeah. five minutes or whatever. Um, I know, actually, some of your videos are a lot longer than that. But yeah. It on and, like, much. the videos will take, like, hours and hours to edit. But, like, yeah. at the end, that's something I'm really proud of. Yeah, wasn't it that we were going up to Sheffield and you were, like... Or was it coming back from Sheffield? You were editing a video yeah. in my car. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, and like I, I have a proof which I put them on because that's just like an account that close friends follow, um, just because that it's something that they might like to see. A lot of it potentially has them in it. So, um, but I don't really put it anywhere. Yeah. So you'd say that you you do it like more for yourself rather than yeah yeah hundred percent. Don't put them on YouTube or anything. Like no. That. No, I think I I used to when I was really into my in- Instagram, I would like use traveling as an opportunity to be like, yes, right, we're g- we're gonna get the gram. Yeah, we're gonna take was, lots of photos. I was literally this is one of my points. I was saying like, because one of our questions was at what point does like uh, capturing the moment actually um, you're like not living in the present. Yeah. Um, And I think that was a big thing because I've deleted my main Instagram account now, which is what I used to be like, yeah, like, let's take an Instagram photo. Like, you know, let me sort of go into this place and take a really edgy (laughs) shot looking away from the camera. And I'm like so over that now sort of thing. Mm. Oh, I mean, although we we were stellar at photo (laughs) shoots. Can we talk about the silhouette shots? Yeah. So um, there's a beach that we go to like, Every year. Every year um, while we're in Wales. And um, it's got these really nice, like, sand dunes. The sand dunes are, like, quite a lot higher than um, the the beach. So it's, like, the perfect... The sun sets behind. Um, so if you, like, crouch down, you get, like, this classic silhouette, like, jumping shot. Yeah. Um, I mean, Honor is much better at the <laughs> jumping <laughs> aspect. There's, There's literally the... F- funniest oh video ever it's it's like a set of photos actually um because yeah, we'll do bursts just to like make sure we capture it 
and it's of Leisha like make sure you catch slipping my yeah. <laughs> um, down the sand dune, which is actually hilarious. My my face is also just pure fear. I'm like I know, it's jumping so funny. is just goes against every fibre of my being. <laughs> oh. Um No but oh my mum is here. Uh, we're gonna t- take a quick break. <laughs> But yeah, no, so that was a great photo opportunity in Wales. Yeah. Um, and it is nice to have those photos, but I think part of us did it for the Instagram because yeah. we knew that it would turn out. But also, I guess the thing with the thing with Wales was that, it, to be fair, it also was a, just a lot of fun for us. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, doing that. But um, when I was on holiday recently, it was, I don't know if it's like, just Chinese tourists. I don't obviously think it is, well, but particularly, yeah, no. um, the Chinese tourists would like pose massively. So like there was like a famous building, and they'd all like be just sort of sat on the floor like properly posing. Yeah. And everything. Some cultures they're just they're a lot more like unashamed. Yeah. Us Brits are a bit more like reserved. Do the like family <laughs> photo and yeah. then. Oh my um, gosh, the family photo. <laughs> we have had so many family <laughs> photos. Um, and it's always like direct, like the sun is directly on <laughs> you and you just can't see a thing. And my eyes are really sensitive to the sunlight. So I have to like keep my eyes closed. I know, and then it's like countdown. And <laughs> then I'm like blinded. Oh. Um, God, but it. it's a, yeah, it's at what point does like capturing the moment actually become like just doing it to show other people you're in a place? You know yeah, what I, mean? I think this is um, it ties into last week's episode where, uh, not last week's, the week before. Wow. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> um, where we were talking about um, social media and um, so its impact um, and. The, when I gave up Instagram, I did see like a dramatic shift in how many photos I was taking, mm. um, because oh, sure, I was yeah. not taking them for anyone else. I was just taking them for me. Yeah. Um, and so it's like I can I can take the photos or I can just remember it. Yeah. Um, and like be in the moment. I'm definitely not it. now concerned about what the photo looks like. <laughs> like I, it used to be like you've got to get that perfect sort of photo. Yeah. And now it's just like about just like quickly, yeah, like capturing the mm. moment. I think there's there's nothing wrong with like. Make sure that's. Forward. Oh yeah, sorry. Um, if my my work's not in shot. <laughs> um, but I think there's nothing wrong with occasionally, you know, wanting to have some fun and take some like, extra photos yeah just like we've done photo shoots before, oh yeah yeah definitely um and it's really fun and sometimes you, you're you proud of it and you just want to show people yeah exactly um, which is nothing like wrong with but it, when yeah. it like takes over your actual enjoyment of it in yeah. the moment like when if it's, it's just like all like you're not actually appreciating it you're just wanting to sort of like get that yeah if it's not actually mind. fun to do it then like why yeah. why are you doing it What's the point? Oh, that's a big question straight for you. Why are you doing it? Why? I think I'm using black watercolour without meaning to. Because I'm... Oh, I never use this palette. And I was like, oh, that must be a dark brown. But I think it's actually black. Oh, well. Did we describe what we're painting? Yeah. I I did while you were away. And okay. And then, then you described yeah, so, the whole point Yeah, so it's thing. just a photo of me. Yeah. No. Um... So what are the warm tones? Oranges, isn't it? Yellows and oranges, yeah. Cool. Using that colour theory. I know, which Oof. I don't really understand. <laughs> oh, should I do a quick little yes. rundown? So you have your primary colours, red, okay. yellow and blue. And they can be mixed um, in pairs to create the secondary colours, being green purple and orange okay so you've got blue and red make purple yellow and uh blue make green and red and yellow make orange (laughs) and then um so that's your basic your basic color theory then you have if you mix all three primary colors together that's red yellow and blue you get Mm. brown and then from 
those colours, you then have warm colours and cool colours. Okay. So we would call, um, if you're just looking at primary and secondary colours, you, you'd call um, blue, purple and um, green cool colours. Okay. And then you'd call yellow, red and orange warm colours. Mm. Um, but <laughs> if you want to get really particular, you can have warm reds and cool reds. <laughs> this is what we were saying because we were in the yeah. cafe the other day and Leisha had been paint shopping. Um, Love a bit of paint shopping. <laughs> And you had like, yeah, you had like warm reds and... And cool reds. So cool I had reds. like, I had a cadmium red, which is considered a warm red. And then uh, I had a crimson red, which was a cool Yeah, cool and red. Joe and I were both quite like, <laughs> ooh. <laughs> what? It's basically like the undertones. So it's like with your skin, um, if um, you have, everyone has different like undertones. So some people have like... Um, it's something to do with your veins. Like, I'm not going to get scientific about this, but um, some people have like warm. Do, do you have the ability to skin? get scientific? No, <laughs> no, I don't. Um, some people have like warm toned skin. Some people have cool toned skin, and some people have neutral toned skin. Yeah, but it's like, you know, so someone with like technically the same skin color as me could have a different skin tone. Yeah to me because they have I think different coloured veins or whatnot. So it's like the underlying tone of the colour is slightly different, even though they're the same colour. Does that make yeah, sense? It does. It's pretty cool. Well there so, you go. But there you go. <laughs> but basically you're using the blue, which is a cool tone as your yeah. shadow, and then the orange as your warm tone, which is your highlight. I yeah. Think. Which I've like never done before, so like it I don't know. It yeah. might work out. Why it not? May. As we as we all know, pen saves everything. <laughs> pen saves everything. <laughs> also, I was gonna say, oh, this is off topic, but never mind. Um, we're already far off topic. <laughs> so. I quite each each week we're like learning new things. It's mm. so like last week. So the first week, we didn't charge the camera enough. Oh gosh. And our SD card was not big enough. So that's what we learned yeah, the first week. First week, if you were here on week one, it was a little tragic. Wow, the technical difficulties. <laughs> Still, you gotta you gotta start somewhere. Yeah. Second week, what went wrong with second second week the rain. Yeah, the hail. Um just was, was background noise was not great. Yeah, that was difficult. Um and I think we did have to stop like once or yeah. twice. I mean, we've already stopped in this video. So, I know. You know <laughs> um, and then the third week, which was last week, our video was overexposed, which we didn't even think to think about. Yeah, this one's going to be underexposed. Is it? Well, probably oh, well, because... This one we've got <laughs> shadows because... Yeah, because we're filming late in the day. But you know what? It is what it is. Yeah, I think this ties into the idea of like because um, we were saying how obtainable is um, a perfect like art journal or caption yeah. of, a, um, of a moment and um, it's like this is a creative way of documenting yeah. something that we're doing um, and yeah because earlier I was like in Godalming and I was sort of thinking like like oh I don't know like I haven't planned that much for this week I don't know how much there'll be to talk about um and we like thought of some points and then I I was like I was like hmm and then um I we were both quite like frazzled oh. this afternoon and I was like okay I'm just gonna let me just like oh I need to sorry <laughs> I need to knock back the bread and make bread rolls um Never mind. <laughs> I wait, was, just finish your point and then... No. I, I was like, no, it can wait till after. Okay. I, I was about to be like, I need to make bread. And then in my head, I was like, oh, no, you need to make bread. Anyway, anyway, so I was like, oh, I need to make bread and I need to pack and, oh, we need to buy food. Um, and I need to, like, take the reference photo and, like, sketch out. And Lee's just like, it's okay. It's just a bit uh, of fun. We, um, uh, we were, like, audio messaging each other and I could just like hear in Anna's voice. She was as like stressed as I was. I was <laughs> like, like babysitting, sat on the swing, 
Um, and the girl I babysit gets like, not confused, but I don't think she's used to people recording audio messages. <laughs> so I'll like sit there and I don't want to look weird. And because obviously she's off scooting and I'm like, obviously 17. So, you know, all the mums and dads fit in just fine. Yeah. And I'm there like, and I, I don't know what like people think. Um, an, an old lady today mistake mistook me for her mum oh god she's three yeah so well, I, I was just there like i mean you technically uh, could have but technically but, but i didn't, didn't. <laughs> um, oh god yeah also, oh, yeah anyway um, so so i like i'm subtly listening to these voice messages in like the park um, and i'm just and i started thinking like oh like yeah like what if people aren't interested in what we're doing today and then, like, you, yeah, you sort of reminded me that it's, like, it's a, it's a project we enjoy doing. And if people listen to the episode, they enjoy it. Yeah. There's like, I, what I'm, I think what I'm getting at is there's, like, no matter what you do, suddenly there becomes, like, a bit of creative pressure. Yeah, when you, when you put yourself out there online, there's, um, there's that sort of social pressure. But also with, like, creative things, you can really strive for this sort of like idealistic outcome yeah of what it's going to be um and so i think just the kind of people we are we do put like that sort of pressure on ourselves yeah. i think to because produce like, something although like good. we really enjoy doing the podcast it it's really nice to know other people enjoy it as well so it's not that i was like oh like it's it's that i wanted to make something that people yeah. like this is the thing and then it's it yeah it's hard to sort of balance that with like well make sure it's like what you enjoy as well yeah right um i mean i yeah i i hope that people in, enjoy it because they have similar interests yeah to us. exactly um and i think going back to like the um art journaling or like film journaling mm. um I do <laughs> film journaling then we need to we need to get back to yeah, that yeah, topic yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. um but it's like i think some of the films you've done you also know that like your friends or like i've come on trips with yeah. you and you've made a video or this that, and the other and you know that we'll really like enjoy seeing Love it. that exactly and appreciate yeah that. um and Oh, you made one, I think one of my favourites is the West Wittering one. Oh, it's, yeah, so me, um, me and Leisha and two friends went down to West Wittering for a day. And I actually, my favourite videos to make are really short day videos. Because often when you get back from a holiday, you've been like, say you've been filming for like, well, the holiday. <laughs> um, it can often be like, you have it in your mind, this really like, interesting like a cool video you want to make and it's really hard to like get that started but like a day video it's like often more like not like vlog style but like just like little fun clips of like people and that kind of thing so yeah we went to west wishings and i um just like yeah filmed bits and bobs from the day oh, but it's like such a cool video a classic moment though where we were gonna do um, like a Baywatch style, like run, run to the it. camera, <laughs> so um, and uh, the guys, without telling us, <laughs> they had decided that they were gonna trip <laughs> us over <laughs> as we were running, <laughs> and so we like saying. go and we start to run, and um, <laughs> Rob. So there's in the line. There's on the left. There's Leisha. Then there's Rob, who's well, Rob. Rob, and then there's Joe, <laughs> and then there's me. So we get halfway, and Rob shoulder barges Joe, who trips in front of me, and then I literally just completely fall over <laughs> Joe, and it's the most hysterical thing. So ever. it ended up being you and Joe that were on the floor, just like, and then me and the Rob, floor. like he failed to trip me over, and it was just like <laughs> it was the funniest. Oh, thing I look ever. back, and you were a mess on the floor. I know it's, it's so funny. Water. And it's stuff like that that, like, I'm so glad is recorded because yeah. it, like, I, I laughed hysterically the first, when it actually happened and every time I, I see it again, I laugh yeah. hysterically again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, so I guess it's just finding that balance between, um, yeah, making sure, yeah, if you want to, like, capture the moment or whatever, you do that, but also 
making sure you're still like living in the moment I guess yeah I think with um art journaling for travel um as much as I really loved last summer um there was that that pressure on because it was for this is what was difficult about yours because yours was like a project that you had to do yeah so Anna was really sweet and she was like oh I'm gonna I'm gonna do it as well this summer (laughs) and so she like joined me I joined my art journaling endeavors yeah and obviously for me I was able to just do like little bits and pieces and Leisha's having to like think about like all I need to use this media now because I you know because I I was just I like actually had to try and come up with standalone pieces within the journal yeah um so which is not easy no <laughs> no it's not. for most for people who were home and they would have just been like researching or like doing artist copies um uh, or like you know going around the local town and doing observations that sort of thing like perhaps it would have been a little bit more easy yeah but i got the brief for this journal after we were already going to uganda yeah wales and Soul Survivor, which is this Christian news festival. Um, so like, we were away no for a regret. month. Or so. <laughs> no, re- no regret <laughs> on that. Like. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we were away for a month of summer. And uh, I was just like... And I had to take the sketch. I know. Me. Which yeah, was... was crazy. Yeah, that was kind of not easy. But you did manage. You it did. Good. Yeah, you did. Um, yeah, because... And what I was going to say is the interesting thing about art journaling is... Um, a lot of the time I don't finish pieces at all when I'm somewhere. So I'll, I'll like take a photo and then maybe in the evening um, do the study. Yeah. So it's very rare that I... I've, I've painted the pupils and it looks really scary. <laughs> you do look a little demonic. <laughs> yeah, moment. I'll just try and shade that out. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like it's going okay. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, yeah. Mine is... Yeah. Mine is... So, let me describe for the audio listeners, because if you didn't know... <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, we've got some news. <laughs> we're uh, on Spotify. We're on Apple Podcasts. We're, we're on... on Stitcher and um, another one. <laughs> Those particularly we're, well Basically, known. we are on any audio podcast platform that you might want to find us on and we're very excited about it exactly so um if you don't want to watch us doing the art we just found out because a lot of us are on like the go and because yeah and you can actually download it and listen if to it i'm on the listening go. to podcasts like they're downloaded on the go yeah um so you can do that and you can just listen to the audio and we're going to try and make it more accessible uh, by just like describing yeah what we're so doing. it's not just like you have to see what we're doing so i'm imagine maybe like a portrait but it's just like blue and orange <laughs> and <laughs> oh, a that isn't a very good description granted b literally that's exactly what, what it is, is. <laughs> so um but also um, if you are planning on just listening to the audio, you can always head over to the Instagram where we will be putting up pictures of yeah. our works. And I think we're going to put up some photos of like examples of journaling stuff oh, that yeah. we've done. We're going to try and sort of make the Instagram a bit of a bigger feature. Yeah, like please let us know if there's anything you would like to see. I think we're going to take uh, some mug of the week shots. Oh yeah. Uh, I have a massive mug this week. To, so my mug is propping up my phone, which is what I'm <laughs> using the colours for, so I can't actually drink the tea. But we all know I forget to drink it anyway, so what does it matter? You know what? <laughs> it's just for the aesthetics, yeah. really. So I've got a mug that says, love you to the moon and back, which oh, is I love actually you really too. cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because, you know, that was directed at me, obviously. Mm. Um, <laughs> your cat just unplugged my uh, laptop. But you know, I didn't even know the right cat topaz. was there. We're we're welcoming to all. Oh, last week we had the dog in it. Yeah, Leisha, those Leisha's got um bug bites on her arm. Oh my gosh. Okay, tangent here. I um I spent like Wednesday afternoon just. It was a really sunny day. I just spent it like in the garden, 
uh, just in, in the grass, but I didn't like just like chilling, listening to music. Um, and but I didn't put a rug down or like a, a blanket yeah. or anything, which was a stupid idea. And I have um, undetermined <laughs> insect yeah. bites all over one side of me from where I was leaning on the grass. And uh, yeah, don't do it, kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it kind of looks. I was. Um, this sounds really bougie, but it's it's not. <laughs> I Love was that. around at my friend's. She has like one of those blow up hot tubs. It does sound bougie. It does sound bougie. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, just own it. Own <laughs> your bouginess. I'm, I'm not going to own it. Um, and I didn't even think that there would be bugs at this time of year, I guess. But uh, yeah, I got really bitten as well. Yeah. Honor is normally the one to get bitten out of the two of us, though. Every. Honestly, like, I get eaten alive. Yeah. Oh. It's, Oh wait, can we talk about our worst night in Uganda? Sorry, when you said oh like that, that's the sort of noise we make when there's a technical difficulty. <laughs> like when we realise the camera stopped filming. So you're like oh and I'm like oh please no, can't <laughs> deal with it. Surprisingly not. I was just going to say can we please talk about the worst night's sleep we had in Uganda. <laughs> so just, so it was um, last year... It was my parents' 25th wedding anniversary and they went out to Uganda. They were teachers out there um, when they were younger. So they wanted, they really wanted to take us out there. And our church is linked to a school out there. So we went out to um, visit and spend a couple, like spend two weeks at the school um, doing like lessons and things. Um, yes. Yeah, so we that went out. <laughs> That was um, <laughs> great, and uh, and so part of the trip though we uh, took a little um, sort of four day break within the trip to go on a safari, um, and we um, so we've been staying like in the city centre and before, and it hadn't been like too bad. There was like you know um, proper we- windows and mosquito nets yeah. and everything, and then you get to the safari and it's. Um, like hearts yeah um what was with actually like open roofs so there's a gap at the top so imagine like you have the four walls of a fence and then like just pretend levitation exists (laughs) and just sort of float a roof on top but like there's no attachment between the walls and the roof so there's like a, a foot maybe gap that just anything could come in. Oh gosh! And so it's just like, and then oh, okay. and then we um, this this is bad. Uh, basically, I guess we assumed that they would have a master key for all of the huts. Um, if you, uh, but it turns out like if you wanted like a turn down service, you had to like hand your key in at the beginning oh, of the yeah. day. Um, <laughs> we didn't know this, so we sort of like got up, like rushed out. Uh, late, uh, I know it sounds really awful of it us. Sounds it sounds bad. It sounds. It really sounds like... like we were expecting it, but like, okay, we weren't. We learned our lesson. <laughs> to be fair, it was five. Um, it was five in the morning, yeah, so we gosh. just like ran out. Um, uh, and I think the thing is, we I never stay in like hotels. It wasn't a hotel, but we always stay in like travel lodges. Yeah. So you kind of there's not room you don't services. Think and, about yeah. it though. It's like. Yeah, um, I especially because normally you don't have to worry about if your bed's not made. This is the thing. When you get back. I don't think it's that I was, like, expecting the bed to be made. It's that I was expecting it not to be a problem that it yeah, wasn't. Yeah, I think so that's more accurate. So, basically, all day, we left the, um, the, the like, mosquito the nets, nets and everything open and undone. Which, it's not, it's not... A problem like you can then tuck them in at night. But, at night, but the problem was that everything had everything already, had got, already in. got in. <laughs> I forgot about that night. That was oh, actually the worst so that night was sleep. so basically we were in this hut. We had like about three geckos just <laughs> in our hut, and I'm not talking like cute small ones talking like foot long geckos <laughs> in our hut like on the curtains and on the walls <laughs> then um then we had midges and like who knows what in 
on it. Yeah, so basically the whole oh, thing gosh. is you have... So we, like, shared the double bed <laughs> because we, yeah. we were scared. <laughs> and um, you basically tuck... There's a sort of princess-type mosquito net that goes round the whole edge of the bed and you, like, tuck it under the mattress. So, obviously, it, before tucking it... We tucked it under the mattress, but, yeah, everything was already then enclosed yeah, in our with us. bed. So nightmare it was oh there were just so many flies uh, and, and then, oh, i never been bitten so much <laughs> and in the yeah because and uh-huh. i kind of thought there was like probably going to be like a tarantula in there with us oh my gosh i didn't even think of that yeah <laughs> well, well, oh gosh and so i'm like, so glad i didn't think i know that. i wasn't gonna mention yeah. <laughs> um so we're just like up like half the night like because you know have you ever had it when you th- feel like there's something in your oh, bed yeah like whether it's it was that like constantly just yeah yeah like whether it's you feel like there's a spider there or like you know when you like see I've a actually spider. woken up just in my house uh, at home uh, to find a wasp in my bed I not not no not that's not fun no. I once trod on a wasp <gasps> which was in my bedroom carpet oh yeah and then was like terrified the whole night that then there was i don't know like an infestation of wasps it's so like <laughs> anyway that sort of experience but then yeah the whole night because you know there's like something there hundreds but of in midges. the morning it's like five in the morning and we had to get up really early and like i was like not really getting up and leisha's like <laughs> come on Anna, like get up and then she's like on a sit up <laughs> and like the, like the tone in her voice changed and i sat bolt upright oh and turn around and like on the other side of the mozzie net but like not far literally it it would have been like 20 centimeters yeah. from my head is this oh. like foot long yeah like um, the biggest gecko i'd ever seen a gecko <laughs> and i was literally just there like ah. yeah. i guess we're just very like i mean geckos won't harm you they're actually good because they eat mo- mozzies but yeah. like yeah but like have not... one that close to your head yeah and we uh, sound really had... awful yeah, like very um the thing is like no, we're british anyone... yeah like we don't have anything scary we were talking to the girls at the school and they were like oh what sort of like cool animals do you have because obviously in uganda <laughs> there's like, we're like uh, amazing animals foxes <laughs> um <laughs> what did i say i think i was like what sort of animals do we have we have like uh sheep <laughs> yeah <laughs> and there's, there's nothing exciting nothing exciting um but yeah i had I think over 30 bites on my legs. It was unbelievable. It was so bad. Yeah. So, anyway, yeah. so that was. Wow, that was a tangent. But I f- feel like it needed to be said. It needed to be. Um, wow, actually, how long have we been talking for? I think we've been talking for like uh, 45 minutes. <laughs> Are you having a laugh? How do we do this? I literally <laughs> don't know is what we're talking about. Is there about. any other like points that you want us to cover? Um, because it's not really a time limit <laughs> on our podcast, but okay. we, we don't want to bore you to them. <laughs> Which I imagine we may well have done. Um, I just need to fix this because I've, um, just done a very, very dark blue outline of a nose, a nose, my nose. <laughs> like you'd have more than one nose. Like, well, you never know. You <laughs> never know. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Uh, was there any other questions? <laughs> no. No. Okay. Um, one thing um, I was... Oh, wait, no, there was. What are your top three favourite um, art mediums to use okay. on holiday? So, we all know I love watercolour and pen. No surprise. Watercolour and pen. Um... Are we counting those as two separate ones? Yeah, yeah. Okay. What about you? Uh, I, I need would, to think for third. But. I would actually say I do. I don't know if watercolor would come in my top. Yeah, it probably would for traveling come in my top three. Um, but I I like um, uh, biros. Oh yeah, you do actually. I do like a good biro. I'm not really a pencil person when it comes to traveling. No. Um, it just. I don't know, there's something quite immediate about, like, using a pen. The thing is, if you're, like, on the go, you don't really have time to be like, oh, that proportion's wrong. You've just got to be you like, well, it's it. there now. <laughs> uh, I, I tend to do a, a lot of not-looking line drawings oh, while yeah. I'm travelling, which is basically, as it sounds, you um, look at your subject, but you don't look at uh, the paper. So you just 
draw um, straight from what you're seeing. Um, so the proportions are all wrong, but it's just it a good way to looking like, like really cool. Yeah, it, well, hopefully, mostly. <laughs> mostly. Um, but yeah, it's basically just a way to sort of train your eye. I do it sometimes at home. I like force people to sit and I'll just like draw them. Um, but it's great to do in airports. You can just find True. somebody who's sleeping or reading. And we're back. Okay. Better than ever, baby. <laughs> yeah, love it. Um, um, yes, yeah, so. Our camera cut out. Never mind. And then um, I went. Basically, I did not there's this, what I was talking there's about. this <laughs> game which is Don't Get Me Started On. And if you say Don't Get Me Started On and then a subject, the other person has to talk for as long as possible about that subject. So we like restarted the camera and I go to Leisha. Oh, don't get me started on green bananas. <laughs> and she's like, what did you even say? What's wrong with green bananas? <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't think I probably understood the rules of the game. Um, no. no. <laughs> but oh my days, that was anyway, I, I think we've decided that whatever we were talking about in this last clip, we're going to... Probably gonna, wasn't important. Probably wasn't important. We're going to move on. Um, so we're going to Cardiff for the weekend. We're very excited. Yeah. Um, and we hope that you um, have had a nice weekend because by the time you're watching this, you've, oh, it's yeah. Monday. Um, and you know what I also hope? I really hope that you're not as tired as us. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You I know, mean, rest is important, guys. Um, when did you wake up this morning? Uh, I mean, 7.30? Yeah. Not not bad, but not great. No. I'm like a ten hours sleep kind yeah. of Yeah, I started revision at seven this morning <sighs> and then worked till twelve. That's just, just that's just wrong. Which is <laughs> <laughs> Which is uh saucy. Yeah. So my brain is fried. Um but yes, so I think we mentioned it already, but these um paintings that we've been doing will be going up on the Instagram and if you are listening to us on Spotify or Apple or anything else um, please give us a five star rating <laughs> that's not what you're supposed to say you're supposed to say please give us a rating <laughs> no I, want, I don't want a one star rating <laughs> yeah if it's not five star don't bother <laughs> You know, we're just being uh, honest with you guys. No, no. In all seriousness, leave us some feedback. Um, you know, we like a good critique. Uh, yeah, as um, long as it's positive. No, we. it would actually be interesting to know what people think because it's hard to... No. <laughs> to, to gauge from silence. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, wow, feel free. to gauge from silence. <laughs> oh, and on that note. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, so either leave us a comment on Instagram or go leave us a rating on one of the podcast apps. Um, and yeah. Thank you for listening. Thank We've for listening. Um, rambled a bit, talked a little bit about journaling and stuff on the go. Hope you've enjoyed it. And if any of you guys um, do like art journaling or anything, let us know. Or if you um, sort of remember a holiday or event in a different way, you know, let us know. Yeah. Be Good interesting. To, good to find out. Right Bye. then. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Have a nice week. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was questionable <laughs> <laughs> intense <laughs>